can identify with me this evening. So give me power. Lord, every hour. Say it with me. Keep me through. Come on, people, get out of your seat and rock this evening. Rock and give Jesus glory. Come, keep me true. Lord Jesus, keep me true. Yes, keep me true. Lord Jesus, keep me true. Yes, there is a race that I must run. And a victory to be. Somebody give God praise our word. Yes, every hour. Yes, keep me true. Sing it again this evening. Hey, hey, hey. 
Heart Home Nursing Home, located in Portmore, Jamaica. We specialize in home care and we do everything nursing. Call 1-876-465-4063. 1-876-465-4063. That is Heart to Heart Nursing Home. Dr. Brown's Arthritis Remedy and Joint Oil Pain relieves arthritis pain, muscular and joint pain, sciatica and foot pain and headaches and menstrual cramps and is also a great sleep aid. It's manufactured by Jamaican scientist Everton Brown PhD and is made with a blend of Jamaican herbs. We ship worldwide, jamsweet.com. You can make your purchases and start getting relief from pain. Yo, get used to me. You know, it's a quote in this, a.k.a. Scantilever Boss. Along with me, I drink them. Star King, I agree. Presents 3 in one Earth Day celebration. You know, the 30th of the month called March. You know, right at the Poppy, you know, at Tavern Day. You know, right at the Community Centre. Music by DJ Platinum, DJ Kelly. One Sky Views. You know, there's some come down one, and one they're wicked, and one they're bad, you know, there's some come in. Admission free. Add it up now.
<laughs> no sound. They say they're not hearing me. No, they are saying you're not hearing me. You phrase it here. That's why they should hear. Yeah, them should hear. A lot of people are telling me say them not hear me. Only hearing me now. You phrase it here. Oh. You phrase it. So as Miss said, Jamaica. Go on alone, me alone, a producer. And if the people them said to me, say them not nah, hear me. Me not nah, for telling what the people them and say. Lord Jesus. Lord. Happy birthday, Jamaica. We could say happy birthday to Courtney. Today is Courtney's birthday. Today me 70 years old, Jamaica. Today Courtney is 70 years old. Yeah, man, he must 70 years old, so... I could say happy birthday to Courtney. Minus some age, Andre. But you look like 70. But, but you want them to see me? But them see you, them never see you. No, they want them to see me now. Like, oh, them are going to see you now. No, I don't want to come in my studio. Viewers, good night. Yeah, I'll pan him birthday him there with me. <laughs> Why not leave me as alone? When you say happy birthday to Courtney, I only you know him there every night. So how old you be now? I'm 52 years old. Him say I'm 52, but him look like 70. Viewers, they need to take a look at me. Big up yourself, Tamara. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. Ma Tamara, birthday today. Hi, Tamara. Happy birthday. Ah, uh, Miss Smalley, big up yourself. Happy birthday to you, Miss Smalley and Tamara. On a big up on a nice, clean self. <laughs> Tamara, they, you know me not talk. Big up on herself, big up on herself. But big up to Courtney, Tamara, and Molly tonight. Yes, man. I don't know, must remember, so Courtney need a little phone, you know. So anyone on the out there want to get Courtney one birthday present, him need one phone. The phone mash up, I mean, I have it more right now for him. But of course, that. Yes. Come, come, make them see you. See him there, Jamaica. See Courtney there. See me here. Take Wait. off the hat. Take off the hat. The people them now see you. Wait, we'll go back more, Andre. You see him there, Jamaica. I'm here, viewers. See him there. See Courtney there. Good night. When you see Courtney now? Yes, that is Courtney. So if you want to see my road, you know if you do it. All right? That is Courtney. Yeah, man. Lord Jesus, me dying for trim tomorrow. Me yeah. no man wear beard, you know? Yeah, I'm saying that. I believe to you. The people who are saying don't look like 17 look like 70 to me. And some young man. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Don. Them say so them know you used to live at Tavern Drive. Mighty God, they mix up he. <laughs> Lord Jesus, you don't know the man business. <laughs> Well, I'm going to come Saturday, next week, Saturday. You see them? Yeah, man. So, Uno, um, in my same birthday party uh, next week, Saturday. <laughs> Smarty, same look like Ninja, man. Uno, no, so, no, all tired. I look up. Uno, no, so, no, all tired about the man look like Ninja, man. I'm here to talk to Mm -mm. Thank you all. So, Courtney, Tamara, and Mali, big up on herself for her birthday. And I remember for send the advertise them come over. Just 100 US for advertise with us for the month of March and April. Oh no, Courtney, not fat. Courtney, not fat. Courtney was a margaret. He used to have long locks, you know. But him and the woman fight after, and the woman pop out the locks, then. Yes. I pop the woman, pop out the locks, the man him just cut off the locks, Jamaica. He was a rasta man. Anybody know him known him was a big rasta man. Mm -hmm. Courtney, I carry me, I drive me around for years now. Yeah, man. From me, I go to university days. I run up and down behind Andrew Oldness. When Andrew Oldness said me for go, yes, yeah, so I Courtney used to carry me from the mission then. And he was a PMP and he, he carry labor right them time all around the island. Yes, man. Mm -mm. 
But is but you know, I'm a general. The next one, I want to show a film face, but one day I figure show in a court. I agree. One day I figure show. It's no, you. No, you. You think you can't stay behind the scenes all your life? Mm -mm. When are your birthday? What are you doing? Not, him not if not tell me when I'm birthday, you know him. Him yeah, same. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to hurt yet. What's that thing in this? Jamaica, remember last night I said to you, what do you worry about quote these are handsome, man? Load them. What do you need for do anybody out there want pledge your money and buy the phone for Courtney? Reach out to me. He need the phone, man, because from last week, me, me can't get. Hey, share love. Share love. Nothing like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. No. Yes, I've been there. David Osa Tavern. Mighty God. Courtney, I hope you never beg not. I trust nothing from David. Because you have come from the people in business today. Mm hmm <laughs> But you know, Jamaica, last night I said to you, I want to somewhat look into the international media at what is happening. And as me talk, you know, she say, the Princess of Wales has announced that she, uh, you have the video? The Princess of Wales. She did an abdominal surgery, I think, in January, February, there about. But she never knew that there, there was cancer. Cancer cells? No, man, cancer. Mm -hmm. So what happened right after she did the abdominal surgery? She did few further tests, and it has turned out that it is cancer. So let us pray for the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton. Can we play the video and let us hear what she's saying? Boy, I feel it for her. I feel it for her, Jamaica. I really feel it for her. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body, and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support, and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space, and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. Jamaica, look pan, <coughs> that look like Kate. But the video don't look realistic. The video don't look like Kate. 
the video that not look like it. All right, I seen she she sick. Cancer. Make she look so. Mighty God. Jamie, come really. You know what she needs? She needs some surcity. Surcity. She needs to come at the Caribbean and come Beach cool on. out. And, and cleanse our system. And the only part, England process food them. Mash Ooh. them up. Mm -mm. But that don't look like it, Jamaica. That look like an artificial intelligence. Wanna say, you know, look like it. It look like them, you know, most times do them find look alike and put them in a hiding. Okay. So if anything, them can use them. That not look like it. Even the way she dress. <laughs> Me not think I see that. That look like it, Middleton. Don't it look pan the video? Oh, look back pan the video. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body, and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support, and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space, and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. Yes, Jamaica. So that's Kate, the Princess of Wales, revealing to us that uh, she has cancer and she's undergoing chemotherapy. Uh, it's a very sad occasion of what has happened to her. But I'm sure that before the end of the year, she'll be good again. Is she Jamaica? See, there, look at it. It's her. It's her. It's just that. It's just that. Um, you can see that it's her. It's really her. Wow. It's as it's a it's uh she's a mother of three children. 
the future queen of England. I hope that she will not lose her hair. <laughs> you know, because when they do the chemotherapy, most times they lose their hair, don't it? But I believe the cancer has been caught early. Unlike many of us who who is um at a stage where we will find the cancer, we stand it at stage three and stage four. And you remember that the king of England as well is sick. Mm. Prince Charles III. Um, he too has cancer. Uh, I'm not sure what kind though. No, I think it's prostate. She didn't say what kind of cancer she's where she she has, but to do abdominal surgery that's under the belly. Yeah. So I wonder if a colon cancer she find out. So she have. Could be. Say a colon. She have. Well, we're not sure, you know. But it's early days yet. It is early days yet, Jamaica. Early, early days yet. But let us pray for her recovery. It could be pancreatic cancer as well. It could be cancer of the <laughs> liver. Um, it could be any kind, but... Let us wait and see. Let us wait and see. But in the meantime, if we can offer some prayers for the <laughs> royal family. I know many people will say that the royals have exploited the world and the nations for their, uh, for their economic growth or their economic prowess. But they're still human. The blood still running at them, and you can't is 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 health. So you can still offer to a man or a woman some sympathies as they go through this perilous time. But now to Jamaica, Lord Jesus, there has been a major shake up. Major, major shake up. Major, major shakeup in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Mm. You hear what I said to you? There has been a major shakeup in the Constabulary Force. <laughs> but the shakeup, go on and I don't see them shake up Cliff. Where's name? Fix Bailey. Mm -hmm. Me don't know how the commissioner say him shake up the force and him don't shake up fix daily. Hmm? Him say him shake up the force, but I don't see him shake up fix daily. Fix daily still have him Fix daily is still the head of crime. Him not really crime. So the deputy commissioner, let me tell you where him shake up now. So Clifford Blake is now the in charge of the Inspectorate and the Professional Standards Oversight Bureau. Assistant Commissioner of Police Warren Clark is now at Strategic Operations Portfolio. Assistant <coughs> Commissioner of Police Karina Powell Hood is the Force Development and Logistics Head. Assistant Commissioner of Police Clifford Chambers is now in the office of the police of commission, the, the office of the Commissioner of Police. And the Assistant Commissioner of Police, Calvin Allen, is now at Era 3 headquarters. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know Jamaica. I really don't know how come. Where name? 
Fitz Bailey still at the head of crime. That is when should I shake up first. For make Jamaica to send serious about fixing crime. <laughs> hey, me what? Hey, Courtney, mm. that person has some of it to big up. Me show you the picture. Me now call your name, carry we get in a problem for the show. <laughs> that one, yeah. No, one say she love you, ain't Yes. Why? <laughs> Problem. Yeah, no, say Sharon, I got ask her who. Sharon, me not tell ya who. I want I'm spooky them. Yes, she love her. Anytime Courtney care up on a Sunday, you know. She just love Courtney. Mm. But as I'm saying, Jamaica. Only remember the super chat I work. Bless up the super chat tonight, man. Bless up the super chat for Courtney tonight. I'm going to bless up. Send some $20 and $10 in a super chat for quoting tonight. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Um, What is something I got to send now? So there is a shake-up in the police force. Effective the second of April, all of them man and woman here I go get move up in the police force. And when me, you, you see me guess them come yet? Me call me guess them because <coughs> me not doing a long show tonight, you know. Mm -mm. Come man. I wear the attorney there. I wear my people them there. Mm -hmm. So they must shake up, but I don't see fix Bailey as shake up. I would just call me. Hello, good night. Hello, good night. Can I speak with Andre, please? Talking to Andre, lady. How can I assist you? It's... Huh? Oh, sorry, Andre. Sorry. A wrong one, uh, Annette this, but I know you really didn't want still. All right, Annette, no problem. Are you sell the soup out of the soup? No, Annette from Portmore, Carol Dre. Andre. Oh, all right, no problem. Mm -hmm. All right, honey. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jamaica, so as I'm saying to you. Mm -hmm. What made that say to you now? Chico. The shake up a guan, but I don't see when they fix Bailey get the shake up. That is when you need to shake up the, the crime unit in the police force. I'm <laughs> telling you, I don't really believe in this commission, I know, but I wait for Isaac to come, come talk. I'm wait for Ishmael to come, come talk. Because remember, I sat in one day about as long as this commissioner is commissioner, things will be better off. <laughs> see him start making them a movie. What are them people? I mean, I see him at focus him energy on the crime portfolio. Surround yourself with people who make sense, man. Ishmael, good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Father Draw TV. So all your commissioner, all your commissioner, um, shake up the police force and don't move fix daily. How old is Fitz Bailey now? Fitz Bailey almost at retirement age now. I'm gonna move the man for. So more people for dead in a Jamaica, no crime plan. <laughs> um, I put it this way. Um his experiences is needed no um, to do what what experience you know you're yeah. always at this you're always a defend the establishment you're yeah because establishments are, yeah man yeah. the establishments are in fact needed in a ask anybody 
That's why we have you processes. You can always defend the establishment. Yeah, man. Yeah, the From establishment. From I know you, you never go still. against the establishment then. I people them where in you know, the establishment that is, you know, never the establishment itself. So that's why we have to remove Fix Bailey. Not necessarily. Um, yeah, then. Yes, yes, yes. You my country, the king said, him just saying, no, I know the establishment is the problem, but the people them when they're in the establishment. That's why yeah, I said, but what if what if what what if it's a case where um SCP Bailey through his years of experience can offer guidance to the new board? You can't just what, have what a brand new 1500 can, people die. No, no, yeah, yeah. You are looking it wrong. You're looking at oh, me, I look upon it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it smell. The people have say you work for the government of Jamaica. That's why you sound so. <laughs> sound so fully established. I, I said talk to them for me now. Nothing of the sort. Nothing Less of the sort. This is my government worker, brother. Big up <laughs> No, sir. Nothing of the sort. But yeah, man. Um, um, the, the but what is, kind of guidance can, can Six Bailey offer in the last 10 years? Over 10,000 Jamaicans have died under his watch with the crime portfolio. What it's kind of guidance? That, ironically, and, and I beg to differ, I, I wouldn't blame it all on him. He has the portfolio for crime, yes. But it, the buck stops with the minister and the commissioner. So mm -hmm. if the case is that Fitz Bailey is not but performing... Well, I know. If that is the case, if it's the case that the, that the commissioner is that it, that um, ACP bill is not performing, it is incumbent upon the processes of the JCF, be it the commissioner, to 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 transfer, remove, demote, or replace. They haven't done that, which means that he has been doing some things um that is in tandem with the with his our problem you have nobody in the force fix, 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 no me fix. not believe so me not believe so him, him, him forget beating you know but really and truly i know acp bailey get up every single time i investigate it themselves is the people that work under him think about what me i say i mean i said the commissioner of police clean up the top tier of the police force but him have Bailey remain as the head of crime. What's your take on that? You have to have a little rum cream. <laughs> Thank Wait. you. The job is very Thank stressful. You. Thank you. Every day you want to get up and eat KFC, yeah, KFC. Want yeah. to look a burger. Little rum cream have to balance it. Don't wrong. As long as the rum cream not at the top, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> so are you saying, are you saying I said Buchanan and fix Bailey is a rum drinker? No, nah, I'm... The man has said, is wrong cream. What are the oh, 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 Come on. Oh, Bill is wrong cream. No, I said, nobody had a foolish this man. No, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> I said, you know, you're a you know, so you big man. You, you, you love Joe Coke, everything. <laughs> Bill is wrong cream. Me never think about it, you know. <laughs> A style, a, what kind of Big style? Big style in things. <laughs> no, but but, no, but, but as long as Google Gaga don't over there, so do JCF nice. Big up JCF. But but really and truly, still, um, mm. you have to have a little experience in in other thing, man. You have to have a little experience. And you ACP know, I, is the you said it. You know when me really lose it for fix daily. Me no know about Uno. What am I gonna tell you? Now? Mm -hmm. I've lost every confidence in Fix Bailey. From Fix Bailey, look for me last year and tell me, say, when name Reverend Moore. Remember Reverend Moore, I sat? Remember the case with Reverend Moore go by the precipice? Ah, uh, when Fix Bailey look and tell me, say, yes, Reverend Moore. Yes, the man that hung himself. Yes, from that. And that, from, and that the people from that, that I lose it's, every confidence in a fixed daily. And that the people them tell him for say boss. It's forensic evidence. It's consistent. Mm. People hang themselves and pull out them dreadlocks. It's a consistent thing. What do you mean, brother? Easy now. <laughs> Isaac, brother, easy. I got to tell you about the dreadlocks argument with Courtney. I may show you what. 
Uh, where Courtney, uh, hold on, Muta never, who authorizes Muta never tell Courtney for trim? Mm. But in truth, I have lost all respect for Fix Bailey from them. And me lose it in the Danali case too. When them have the missing four hour footage and them tell me say, oh, this and that and Ray and T. Me lose it in a day. You remember the next soldier where them did kill in a Daniel Row? You remember that Ishmael? The soldier where they must be two days after Daniel Row dead. And him <laughs> did get, and them say, Fix Bailey, come, come tell us the people who were killed the man. Come from Clarendon and them, all know Fix Bailey no arrest. Nobody but him say a Clarendon the killer come from. <laughs> and I lose still. it. And I lose it totally for Fix Bailey when Fix Bailey tell me about the multiple cocaine with the uh, Araka Bessa. I all know Fix Bailey no arrest one person. Lose it, lose it for him long time. So I don't know what kind of experience and so me would have, me would have swap bunk if a black dog in this case because if him do all of them something there, Ishmael, and still at the head of crime. Come on, man. I better find somebody and train him for the job. I don't like me at tell. I met more I people think... dead. I met more I'm, I'm, I met more high profile cases. Go on. You might have a little experience, man. Oh god. I, I, I have a theory, do you know? I have a theory. What's though. your theory? I... Now that Blake is at the helm, watch watch Bailey. I got to do the real work and solve the crime. Cause it's like so a we, real, it's like a, a real, a real man have to be at the helm of the JCF, so the whole team can no, actually but, no, but do work. Watch the work. I was now. saying that so, all so that. I'm just wrong. gonna say to the people, they're gonna have confidence in Bailey, cause Bailey and Blake is a good combination. So don't come. So you're, you're, you're saying that there was an offset of Google Gaga and Bailey? Yeah. It's not an offset, but we know, know. Re- we know I'm a real commissioner. That's all I got to say. So Google Gaga was what? Google Gaga. Boss baby. I said maybe onto something, <laughs> you know. I said, I said maybe, maybe onto something, you know, because how it a go look? In a, any establishment, you have a man where where him not come from about ya, but a him get the work to come run about ya, and you the about oh. ya all long, and them you know. So all you're think saying about that it. Think about because it. he was which in other, the army. Which other public servant you know have have, have have the illustrious career of 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 major general? Think about it. That that man serving at every single capacity. As it relates to the nation security, you know, in a JD. Him coming back. I gather that him coming back in the next two, three months. Let's say. There are arguments really around the place it. that he in a that any, he should be. In a any work. In a any work. Mm. Or let's say me and you work at the same place, Andre. And 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 we are we are to do work diligently. And when you look, them carrying ISAT for come run things. And me and you apply for the same work, them time there. I don't know how we get it. ISAT get it. We are talking about man. We now work with ISAT. ISAT a plant. ISAT a plant, so brother. So, where you basically I say Bailey and the rest of the police force did that sabotage? No, I'm um, not saying that. I'm not saying that. You're asking me to dry out like no, a baby. No, no. <laughs> you're not making me talk with me, no, but that's what I think. That's what I think. So, you're not thinking about the kind of career. You didn't want to say that as, program you draw out everybody, you know? No, no me. No me. All it I go do a draw my locks make it long like I saw. Ishmael, don't fall victim to it. It is I've seen seen many of them fall for a Friday night. Turn weekend news and nine day wonder. And I quote. (laughs) So whatever I lose, big job. And I quote. Where you say I sat and I quote. Me na me na put in any them problem there. Only na go quote nobody any them problem. And the program nice and so forth. Come no on. man, but 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 really and truly, I don't know nobody that has the the career as Major General Anthony Anderson. Um, very decorated career, and personally, 
there is in fact um some some it, it's worth thinking about um no i think given that given that the new commissioner is a part has been a part of the process for so long he is more he is more uh, may, maybe in my boots on the ground per se may, even though he he is in fact um an it specialist he would have been you know a, a an um a member of the, the force for so long so him him have more experience in the force versus the last commissioner okay well let us see what will be the outcome i mean what i wrote if him the worst <laughs> <laughs> That I leave it up to you because I, mean, I don't really have the confidence in this new one. But I said, it's my trusted advisor, and him say, give him some time. And I'm giving him, what will it say, 18 months? Mm. I'm giving him 18 months to prove himself. And what people did so far? 18 months is Third. all he needs. Jo listen, Jamaica is in good hands. I, I'm think sure so? of it. Jamaica is in good hands. If you know, if you know how the morale of the police force is lifted, the JCF, boy, JCF coming like they go like everybody get new uniform. Mm. Yes, man. May I talk about top of notch service from 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 Kingston to Trelawney, Montego Bay, right back. But the Central uniform Central. was from Google Gaga. Them are wearing the new one, them now. You know, like when you're in first day of school, I saw them go on now. It looked like, you remember, you know, say it looked like the the red seam stop wear. Long time in the school. Them not really yeah. wear the red seam again. No, them stop wear the stripe, man, or the blue. Mm -hmm. You know, them are wear the blue. Then, that, eh? You know, me remember. You mm -hmm. remember, you ever watch them, them, them TV show there? I used to see the fireman them. In a pose and the girl them are dead over it. And I remember that that episode mm. there in a JCF when when man a pose in a uniform. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but I, I like this new uniform. It give them a nice moderate. A, a I, moderate. I thought that I thought that that uniform was retired from ice cream man. I haven't seen that uniform since ice cream. <laughs> Which uniform? They the bail is cream uniform no, the red sea red sea red red sea disappear from ice cream man but that's another thing yeah no a cookie and cream yeah 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 i don't know what i'm uh, talking about but then you, you never born yet ishmael don't worry about okay you. okay we never born ishmael we remember say <laughs> Mm. All right. Um, but people are of the view that he did a good job as commissioner, Google Gaga. But which people? You which people? people are not all in here. Who? Who? More than one. No, people, people think Sam do good as commissioner police. All right. Good, good, like what? Give me some specifics. What, what Sam modernize the, the police force him get them social media um him get them vehicle him get them this him get them vehicle get... And, I, and are you and, and every minute marvin come and say one or two vehicle down so me just tell you where the people who believe in him say it's not me oh. say it. you oh. understand but it's an interesting take on it but the people where more say that him do good as commissioner is the labor right there I deliver them as same do good as commissioner. I know me. I know me say it. I deliver right then. The you, ever watch, of the you ever watch um the, there is a show, I think it's special victims unit or something like so. Are you Law and order? No, not law and order. Um I don't remember the name of it though, but you always have maybe maybe a squad of of of, of police and all mm. them do them. They think about the, the the psyche, and they solve crime from from a from a mental standpoint. And them always, you have the girl, and she every minute she type, and then she just bring up everything. So maybe I just NCIS. NCIS. Yeah, Abby. 
Abby, yeah, man. Hey, hey. You used to love watch NCIS with so Abby. Maybe. So maybe, <laughs> maybe with the computer science boss, maybe hmm. I just say, I go see him. And then I go say, well, li listen, it's technology, right it's technology, technology oh, around the thing, you know. It's technology around the thing. I don't know what Gilly 416 means that Blake is a computer policeman. Because <laughs> AI runs things now, you know. We're going to find out, man. We're going to do all right. I'm going to do well. We have to just give him the time to prove himself. But I'll challenge him to carry down crime by 40%. That, that, I will leave that, Andre. Oh, God. You're wicked. Eh? No. You know, you sound like, you sound like, you sound like for the next 100 days. <laughs> no, I'm not so sounding like the one. But we must be optimistic. Crime can be brought down by 40% over the next year. One year? I don't know. Yeah, man. I don't believe it's, that. It's not Money hard is. to solve. It's not hard to solve crime in this country, you know. You know why crime can't solve? Yesterday, a friend, a colleague of mine, called me and he said to me, "Say, if you check how many security companies we have in this country, crime is a business, you know, don't it?" I agree. So if we reduce crime by forty percent, some security companies going go bankrupt. <laughs> so, so, so it is in the interest funeral homes going up a shutdown so it's in the interest of those businesses and the politicians to keep crime at 1500 because 1500 1500 deaths per year you know funeral home and security company glad and private security glad don't it so i am saying blake need to do 40 percent reduction but them now gonna make him do that because if him reduce it by 40 percent hey i'll perish uh, funeral won't get knocked 40 percent wall heap still give me say give me say i just the police they mm. um yeah you know why i said 40 percent i said remember is when just... it was yeah what is when it was portia's time you know i want those 100 or 1200 people are dead you know Mm, now exactly. of 1500 or 200 more dead that you know that's a 40 percent don't it i said we can't bring so. it down back by 1200 to 100 1100 dead man but we have to remember still you know um eight years ago we never did us suffer so you know so you know people are dead because they must suffer and we, have suffer so, we have suffered from independence we have suffered from the crime time. crime is also a social issue people broke brother you know see you know see Look for me now. You know, I write some well while I said I offer me one, one piece. You see me? Man, really nah, like that. KFC. One, one piece of a KFC. Picking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll give you only six hundred and fifty dollars what you say. So so the other day, I won't tell you the other day. I, I won't tell you where it happened. But I was on my way to work. And my witness, man, I run and when I take a start near KFC them rob. Which part of KFC them rob? Me now nah, I'll tell you for your final homework. What them rob on KFC? Oh! <laughs> I want them for the Portmore one. Cause what did them rob the Portmore? Them don't one. rob no but Portmore you know, one. What day, yeah? You know what them are rob now? And it not talk for news. You know say about four or five papas get robbed in the last month. Seriously? And them are hiding. Why would they? Why would they rob papas? Papa. What do you mean by Lisa Anna chicken are the best chicken? No, no. KFC chicken is the best. You see what you see, you see why we had to have a commissioner Blake? Because why? we have to stop everybody we talk things fake. Get Blake, oh. cause we don't take fake. What do you mean? Why would they rob our papas? Akilia, no, relax yourself now. You have to about. Wow. Akila Richards, relax yourself, man. A two KFC the on King Street, you know. Which one of them? The one on the top or the one on the top? Low the man alone, the man I sat and stop the same truth. No, you know, see, it's the comments, the comments section. <laughs> All right, let me stop, let me stop. Me <laughs> yeah, not see the comments. They don't say me in the comment section, me get distracted. Come on, the man. Oh, 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 but that's a nice yes, the <laughs> class nights if you hear the comments. <laughs> oh, we have been at the comment section. No, sir. Mm -mm. But uh, I mean, ish, mm, what you say? Let me turn your attention a little bit now. 
they lead up their position Lord Jesus on Tuesday accuse the director of public prosecution for dragging her feet <clears throat> in the prosecution of additional members. Why are face pretty? I said, look there. <laughs> and um, the SSL matter. But the director of public prosecution has responded. She's saying that the file is incomplete and she's delaying her ruling on charges in the SSL case. What's your take on that? Smokes and mirrors. That's my take on it. Smokes and mirrors. Who is ultimately responsible for um for the SSL case? The DPP? No. It's the Minister of Finance. He was the one that 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 contracted um people to do the investigation. So if the, the file is incomplete, whose fault is it? Smokes and mirrors. So so they're trying to say that people are casting blame when in when in hindsight the blame is squarely at the feet of the finance minister also he did not he did not accuse her of dragging her feet that you see clickbait is a thing you know clickbait is a thing so my take on it is this is just another way of taking the heat off the government Remember, you know, Isaac. remember, you know, my, my um, yeah, what's your take on it? I don't, I don't really know if there's a, a high um, rate of prosecuting rich people, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> um, yeah, I really, I usually stay out of rich people business. So, I mean, Dating says because them rich, why it delayed so long? No, I, I mean, there. I don't know the standards or the proce I don't know the procedures and the practice for prosecuting rich people crimes. I don't know. So I can't don't say that. Don't say that because you have a rich man behind bar now. Who is that? I don't know. Joyland Silver. You don't say you really work for government. Uh, right out, right there, so out of King Street. <laughs> We are that boat. <laughs> yeah, right cross from where, right cross from where the KFC get robbed. You, you say what? Me? Of course, there is a boss. Of course, you have some good work then, yes. You <laughs> so see Andrea Brown said the bottom of King Street. <laughs> <laughs> order in the court. Order in the court. Order in the court. Hold on, let me order. tell you something. If that um, Gabba belongs to Juliet Holness, it's problem. <laughs> Let me tell you that from now. Where is that? Let me tell you that from now because you see, Andre, I want to make you know this, you know. I is the best baby father at constitutional law. Right now. Hey, hey. <laughs> Where is the best one? The best baby father at constitutional law. Yes, yes. Yo, that hey, that thought the bad thing. I thought the bad thing. Yeah, no, as you talk about baby father, I want to put up one picture. What's my best baby father? The picture with Cromwell. <laughs> Me say one lady called the program this week and she made an allegation that the, bill, the, the prime minister of the country is not wholeness, he's a Bramwell. And I'm saying where the woman get this argument from. And it has started the rounds on social media and TikTok that the beloved prime minister could have been a jacket. You want to see the picture of it? Let me put no, up the picture. No, I haven't seen anything. I want to put up this picture, but your prime minister said yesterday that he's the best baby father for ideas. What do you mean by best baby? I thought he was a husband. So I'm rich to baby father. <laughs> the man telling you outright that the man... The man, any idea come to him, use it. That's what I'm telling you. So, you know, if it's your idea. But why use the analogy of a baby father? Because and not maybe, a husband. Because as a baby father, you know, you can take anything. 23, 23 babies and 22 baby mother that will <laughs> spread your seeds. You understand? You know? So the ideas grow. 
All maybe over somebody the place. from may, maybe somebody with name will start with R of an idea. Mm. Somebody with name. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you I want a mask day. Where the gavel is? Where's the gavel? <laughs> well, Andy, the Bram, well, they might call me. Hello, good night. No, 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 don't put it up. Please don't put it up. Please don't put it up. All right. All right. How would that? Get that close, look. They can look Jamaican, tell me. Hey. Isaac, look good. I don't think it's him, man. It's a good look, George, up. zoom it up. I'm Ooh. not commenting for anybody's personal business, you see? <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> but we will let it alone. Please. Me could let it alone. <laughs> Me could let it alone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm offended. I'm offended. Why are you offended? But just just because people know it's big, that don't mean say it's them father. Just got two people have big nose. That's not right. Hmm. Okay. I mean, say me have straight. I have no really, I have no relation to the prime minister. My nose big, so I think we should just leave that one alone. Mm. All right. All right. All right. Interesting. But yeah, man, Interesting. yeah, man. This this best baby father thing, me I tell you, man. This best baby father of the ideas thing. The man literally telling you that any idea PMP come with, it I use. Remember, me tell you, him just want to get wind of it. He might take care of the pitney. That him telling you. Why Step did Bill father. father come out with one whole heap of things? You know, see, all yesterday, same again, must be 30 pitney. Um, when say yeah. not grant man, him a 30 hope children, are, hope care, heart, something, hope, hope heart, care, um, something, trust. something like that. Like him, I put them in a trust. I said, yes, 30 man. children, something about October 6th, people were born after October 6th, or something like so. Kids yeah, man, him a give must yeah, be 30 man. children to go so in and trust. Insurance or money where they can look forward to when they are 18. 18, either them can go build Osco University or start them business with it. Then him coming, like say, him come and talk about him again, 50,000 to level four. four. But how many, how many people will reach to the level four supervisory management? It's not a lot. If you have 120 000, level four, you have to pay for it. That's the first thing. How much you have to pay for level four? I don't remember the admission, but 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 you have to pay from level one to three is free, it's free. But level four to seven is you have to pay for it. Because level four, I think, would be that of a of a BA or a little bit higher than a BA. Um and like then, a bachelor's. Right. What um, is it more? What is important though? I don't mean to cut you know, Ishmael, is the the statistics behind how many people that go to heart actually get to level four. Not I don't many. Know. I don't know. Because it's not many. Tree. It's not many. Yeah, man. So although That's it is enticing, it's not although it is enticing, people enrolled. Say that again. If it's 120,000 people enrolled, I don't think even 50 or 100 reach to the level four no there is it's very it's very it's very it's very one hundred and twenty thousand people so so, so nice level, level, know, four equal, you know. level four equals an associate degree but yes. i do recall i do recall um knowing level four equals a, an associate degree who were at level four and the classes were never usually filled for them to to hold a, and it a always take person. long and so it they have, they have long. alternative ways to matriculate it's a good idea though, you know, so you can't you can knock things that is um prospective and forward thinking and beneficial to the people. It's just that it's not beneficial to the masses. And we should but, talk about the minimum wage. We should we, we should it have makes conversations sense, though, about you know, that. It makes sense though how him how he presented it. It made sense. But really and truly it's not practical because mm. not 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 much will really benefit from it. Um, what they'll do though is they'll they'll make the grand announcement, but then um in, in practicality, not a lot of people, not a lot of uptake will happen. And then again, art already assists you if it is that you're doing a skill, let's say Jagas, you go to Jagas and you want a scanning tool. Um the minute you finish heart will assist you to get the scanning tool, heart will eat 
even employ you or send you um send you mm -hmm. to uh, assist you with getting a job so basically all we announced yesterday already exists ishmael well ishmael yeah. not like when you, you come up you know me not like when you come up yeah yeah is you come off like you know what answer the question them directly like you're afraid of the prime minister talk the truth man and a long time him have them things that exist um here imagine. yes 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 look panning jamaica look panning like him we for answering <laughs> lord jesus but we want to turn our attention a little bit. Yesterday, the reggae boys play a match, don't it? Yeah. They lose 3-1. So, I went since they lose 3-1. Listen, no man. Listen, no man. That game, they are one teeth in game, you know. Yes, sir, nine, nine. But then... Hold on. You say it's a teeth in game? No. That, they, 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 so... So no, but that's minutes. one of the teeth in start when in a, when when in a suspend all of the good player them and and on the keep of foolishness down there like when, the run, the 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 <laughs> when the teeth in is this internal teeth in and sabotage? <laughs> I want Ricky get elected from yes, yes. the other the reggae boys. Colors, you know, I, I want no, I want the colors. Ricky get elected on Sunday and the reggae boys lose. But I want to play a little clip with Leon Bailey and then we get back to it. Play that little clip there for me, please. So I'm more, let people know. I'm actually giving the national team a break. It's been a lot of my body. It's been a lot of my head. Mm -hmm. Mental upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I'm really going to take a break and really focus on club football for now and Taking a break, disgruntled reggae boy star Leon Bailey has put it on Front Street that he's stepping away from the Jamaica national team setup to focus on his club career. Bailey says he was planning on taking a break from the national setup even before he was suspended by head coach Jaime Hall Grimson for the CONCACAF Nations League final stage, which begins with a semi final clash against the USA tonight. To me that he wasn't going to invite me to the next camp mm -hmm. but way before this happens i've <laughs> i always had it in my head that yo it's getting too much on my plate when it comes to the national team and i was really going to take a break from it and then that just tip off everything for him to look for me and tell me say i'm not invite me to the next camp i felt that was really harsh and it just said to me, so like, it's me being national team right now. It just that drain me energy a lot every time I need to go to the national team because there's so much thing that happens in the national team that I don't really share. As I say, I don't really talk on anything about. Bailey also shared his disappointment with what he described as an unprofessional national setup. Coming with the national, coming with the national team, it's very unprofessional, bro. When I say unprofessional, it's, it's ways where you just can't imagine. You're, tur you're turning up the, the equipment, are not, you don't have equipment for you. Like you're just having to, having to. Like, like, no, like you go on the mall, you have a one shirt for you, you have to find a shot, but we are. Just, man, I turn mm. up the game and you see a woman, a woman shirt. It's a woman shirt, then print off him wear. Bro, in terms of travels and all that thing, it's, it's just ridiculous, bro. It's, it's, it's a lot. And whenever I'm there, bro, it's just like they don't know how to operate. And I, I'm not expecting them to know all these things. But me is not like a norm or other normal player that's there, bro. Mm -hmm. like, Jamaica can't really give me no exposure. And I two things I low my ass them for. And every time is I cannot get this. You have man a book fly to me and I that send me from England to Jamaica, I need to go from England to Jamaica I, and I send economy fly for travel with three different stuff when there's mm. two things I want to ask for I, I don't ask for pay and none of them somebody bro two things I want to ask for just make sure, just make sure I have a proper flight and make sure I have a room by myself yeah 
That's all. I'm a kid and get that, bro. And it's just like, what am I here doing for? All right. So, Ricardo, of course, on the Let's Be Honest podcast, it was a really, really long interview. It has a lot to unpack. And I think I'm going to start our discussion this afternoon but the first soundbite that we played right where he basically said that coach Heimer Holgrimson not inviting him into the camp was harsh he found that to be very harsh and I'd love this afternoon for you to share what you thought about it because I think I spoke to Lance yeah I did about this um, when when Heimer Holgrimson did his press conference and he gave the reasoning for Leon Bailey's exclusion I'll just remind gentlemen why so many national footballers complaining about the GFF style I'm happy you I'm I'm happy how you phrase that question you know why because a lot of I hear a lot of people talking about Leon Bailey and where him shouldn't do or where him should I do or whatever the case is this is an indictment on the Jamaica Football Federation yes this is also it it it, it also brings into question mm -hmm. um the operations and administrative duties of the general secretary of the Jamaica Football Federation you can't operate like this. It's a professional, it's a professional organization. You think it's a party shop up there? Them can't, them can't deal with things of a true. And there are, in fact, talents. And this is not the first time I've heard that there are people in this country that really feel like Jamaica can compete at the highest level. Of course. Probably even go further in, a, in, in the World Cup, not just going back. Because we have uh -huh. the talent to do it. We have the talent to do it. Mm. But every single time... Some man thinks say, I don't know, some man thinks say is a get rich quick scheme. Just like how Jamaica are run now. You can't you can't do with things so. Leon Bailey is not the first player to come out like this. The whole reggae yeah. girls squad came out. Khadija. Like What's her name again? Khadija. Khadija Shah. Shah. I remember when she came out, she came out strong about it. But I know Khadija Shah, just the other day, the whole a nucleus of the, 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 the regular girls squad that went to the World Cup decided to them not playing again under this administration. And ironically, it's the same admi administration um won in the previously concluded general election. Yo, sometimes I feel like the country I go back with you, brother. I thought, what is your take on this? Um, you, you know, you, you, people have to, to, to look, people have to understand he's coming from a first world country where he plays with premier leagues, where they have, where they have clean bathrooms and where they go in the bathroom, they have, um, toiletries in the bathroom and, you know, you put your hand on the, 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 the pipe and the pipe, the pipe, wash your hand and then dry it near it. And so when you come down to a pop down situation where pop down people run a particular, um, facility you're gonna have that and then when the bad man kick in and you're supposed when you're dealing with stars you have to deal with them the man say wants a room by himself because he is a top player and he doesn't get it and the thing is we should be asking our questions if we if we value if we value our our athletes you know because it's them put us on the map you know we're supposed to be treating them we we we, we never needed um we should not have needed Sidella. To, to 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 support the reggae girls and then the, yeah. the whole lies that came behind it and then there was a point dealing with that same federation where Sidella gave a letter of record res resignation saying she didn't feel appreciated for all the work that she did so we have a lot of people that is sitting in roles and positions that I, is just um it's, it's as if it's token now we understand that they're not getting the proper funding necessary but there is we have a um a I believe them getting money. I believe them well, getting money. Well, I, I'm saying the minister should have addressed that. the minister should address that because I can tell you, um, you when you have players like 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 um the young man, you have to be you have to take what he's saying not with a grain of salt, but you you're supposed to meet his demands. He's playing in a country and playing for leagues and making making the type of money that you cannot pay. So he's being patriotic. And he's to be spoiled like you, like if it were Prince Harry or or, or or King Charles or William that is actually coming to play for Jamaica. It should mean something to Jamaicans that he chose to play for Jamaica. 
and you putting know, it that high. You know, you know, you know, something that people missed in that interview. Ah. Um, FIFA pays people to play for their in for their country. Really? All professional players. Yes, I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. All professional players are supposed to be paid. Leon Bailey said he doesn't get paid to play for Jamaica. And he's he's not the first person I've heard saying that. That, so that says means a that lot. an investigation needs to be done that into says a JFF then. And the man still a player. Come on, we are talking about no player. That is representing your country. I've represented Jamaica before, Andre. Yes, so you is. aren't supposed to book your own ticket. What you represent Jamaica to do? Play this football? Group. No. <laughs> I've represented the country. Not in sports. Not in sports. But oh. I've, I've represented the country before. And I'm telling in you. In what capacity? La Jesus, Andre. I said, talk to you, no? <laughs> Which capacity I represent the country, Shme? So I've been, I, I've been a youth ambassador. Oh, but yeah, not only is a youth ambassador, they didn't tell you it was on the, the diaspora council. <laughs> hey! as, a man, as, as a youth not living in Jamaica, <laughs> it made, yo, it's a real government, it's yeah, a man. real CIA yeah. boss. This, you know, why not leave Ishmael? Not here, nothing. Why not leave Ishmael alone? Not here, nothing. Not here, nothing. Not here. You're hearing, stop behaving as though you're not hearing. Sign out and come in back. I'm really not here for true. I'm not here nothing. Take him off and take him on back. He represents Jamaica in many capacities. You need to understand that. Them calling Mr. Jamaica. Yeah, man. What a thing. Isaac, you know, to the world strong. So I said, yes. What's your take on? I want to play a video, the one with Juliet Holmes. Thursday, 1:51 p.m. House Speaker Juliet Holness arrives outside Parliament. The supporters she hugs are wearing JLP for Women T-shirts. Some have posters in support of her and strong words. This lady here, show her to the world. I will die for her the and the Prime Minister. All when hungry I kill me, JLP I to the world. The crowd gathered against the background of Tuesday's criticisms by opposition leader Mark Golding, who suggested her appointment undermined the independence of the Speaker's position, as Mrs. Holness is also the wife of Prime Minister Andrew Holness. She's not a bias, she talk facts, she's not bias. Them just eat the woman for me, don't know why them eat her, but she's not talking bias. Veteran MP Carl Samuda defended the walkout. The Prime Minister rose in his seat because, listen, Apart from everything else, it's a very personal matter. You're talking about the man's wife. You're talking about the mother <laughs> of his children. You're talking about a partnership, right? Over many years that have developed into something that should be envied by everyone in the political system in Jamaica. And to attack her in that way or to suggest that she could be biased in her decision making in the chair is not only insulting, but most inappropriate and unbecoming of the opposition. It's as simple as that. Prime Minister Andrew Holness arrived at 2.14 to deliver his contribution to the budget debate. But with the general election due in 18 months, stakes are high. If I were in your position, I would take for myself and hand over to someone else. Who is and his counterpart, Mark Golding, took jabs at him in front of PNP supporters outside Parliament on Tuesday. Today, Mr. Holness took jabs at the PNP. The programs that we will announce are programs that the PNP wish that they could have done. Yes! Sacked Minister Everald Warmington recently suggested he would not be campaigning for Holness. But after this exchange with Julian Robinson on Tuesday, the Prime fire on your side. there appears to be an about turn. I don't in a trend for your party. Yeah, <laughs>
<laughs> Tell me, can I ask? I, 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 on, this is an honest question now. I need some assistance with this. Yeah. And I hear it all the time. Mm -hmm. He just said, the, the goodly JP, Mr. Warmy, just said he'll be out there in the trenches day and night. What yes. is the trenches? Is this the dirty place where people go? No, I'm going to talk about the roads, the hills, and the valleys. Oh, so where is that exactly? No, you know, the constituency, them, the district, them, the towns, the parishes. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Oh, it's all All right. All right. <laughs> I love when I love when when people run on strong sometimes, see man. And I also love when people play. I mean they tell you oh, earlier, okay. earlier, earlier, earlier now, Andre. Them mm -hmm. I go play, them I go play the feminist great woman card. I mean, they tell you. Yeah. See it there now. And, and you hear um, the minister said, sometimes I wonder if if if, if them talk, think before them talk, you know. Yeah, go come and talk about say this is the man's wife and 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 the man's supposed to feel away. About what? When supposed to feel away, say that his wife is the speaker of the house? A lie? His wife is not the speaker of the house? Mm. I cannot understand. So them walk out on the on, on the man that is constitutionally supposed to give a speech them walk out pan the man and then they're gonna come and they're gonna say them supposed to walk out pan him because him out harder the wild come, country i don't man, know can i recall someone that said is the man wife and the the, the, the the woman to his children the mother to his children so what is that such stake can it As thank my family for their love and support time in particular Juliet yeah. an independent woman Woman yes. who has achieved all that he has Absolutely. on her own effort yes. in her own right. Yes. So, what do you mean by self made, gentlemen? Are you for telling me that? What do you mean by what you no, mean? That's, that's, a no that's a no You see, that is why I love Juliet, you know. That's why I love I love the speaker of the house. And I always gonna defend her. Because she has to fend for herself. Like the rest of the Jamaican people. You have to be self-made under this government. You can't you no not achieve unless you do it yourself under this government. So if the Prime Minister says wife is self-made. You understand where that leave Puno for do. So that's why I'm in love her. I mean, I don't think it's a conflict because that type of arrangement where the Prime Minister is only for himself and his wife have to fend for herself and save herself. <laughs> and Transparency at its finest, eh? She, she deserves to be where she is and they need to leave her alone. That's how I see it. So, but seriously, though, what do you mean by self made? It means you know, that she work and get her own things her. in the LPR with nothing. She got where she reached by her own merit. And I, 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 maybe, maybe, what he said about his wife. Maybe, maybe that's and what I'm he means. That she looked so beautiful sitting in that chair yesterday. I said, What happened to you? You're so hypocritical. Maybe she looked really Maybe nice. I said, Like her, what you're problem? Racist. You're racist, you know. You, you are. Maybe I said, Like her. I'm you know, not, 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 not one time, what not one time when Dalrin put it sit down in the chair. You said that. Have nothing for say. You, you, you didn't have nothing for say, no? Come in with say you're up, you're, you're up in arms about Juliet, you know. Yeah. Careful, is the man's wife. Here, I sat. Don't remember worry, I'm that. Not, I'm not, not going to copy her. <laughs> don't covet don't covet your neighbor's your neighbor's when wife are your neighbor i, hear, I hope saying it when i hear self-made the first thing come to my mind is the 800 million dollar apartment and that come to mind 
But you know, but you know, Andre, help me with something though. I know everybody, when him did that talk, me never see everybody in a parliament. <laughs> oh, you never see. <laughs> oh, you mix up. No, you don't, oh, you you know, you don't see your real, a new need for them pink wall boss, you know. We have to talk about all of the MPs, all of the go MPs, that's all I'm saying. Me never see all of the you MPs know, you know, in the we house. Should cha- we should change the topic. When Rhoda fix? Because <laughs> <laughs> I have some potholes pot on my road. I want to know if when he was talking about the um the budget and stuff, if road a fix. On the no sound, and I get to with it tonight. On the no, I get to with it tonight. Hey, but you know, seriously, though. When me no know how she do it, you know. Sit down in the in the parliament, no one say, are <laughs> no, she was duly elected, taken by her members on the left and the right to sit in the chair. What do you mean? You don't remember that 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 iconic that iconic video after the nominator is who Carrie Argo sit down in the chair. Her fellow MPs. What do you mean? So do you think that? Mark Golding's argument was legitimate, I said, about the wife of the Prime Minister. What's your take on it? They want to run out if it never legitimate. I asked, I said, we have Sorry, to sir. Sorry, sir. Rock of ages, said to me. Here's this, though. I'm going to tell you. I have a mind. I have a mind. Before you respond, you know that I said was training to become a pastor. Really? <laughs> yes. I was Achoo? doing a little bit. I was doing a little bit more research on him. <laughs> really? And I'm, it has, you know, a lot of people are over here. They must know. That's what you remember. Yes, I was I was on his live and he was quoting scriptures just like that. You know, like me and Christian and me can't quote them. <laughs> Back on it. So me I said to myself, say, I need to go research. Oh, I'm quoting scriptures. So can you believe that he was actually in? Theology school. Ministry. Yes, he was to be a pastor before him take up liar business. <laughs> you never know. I said, tell me if this lie me tell him. No, you're not telling <laughs> a lie. But what that happened? What that happened doing the speaker of the house now? Me not because understand. sing a rock of ages. This only pastor sing rock of ages. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, the woman I, was duly no, nominated. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say this. Um, she was duly nominated. So. That's that's what I have to say. About. It's a, you know, sometimes it's so funny because it's a baby for a second the nomination. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've been told that when there are cases in court, I shouldn't speak on it. But one one wonders. Anyway, um, ne- next topic. What what what? The reality is this. Um, for her own merit, she is self-made. Um, not mocking the prime minister. No, I'm being serious. Um, it's twofold because people have to. If she is qualified, which she mm-hmm. is, nobody objected to her being the deputy speaker. And when Dalrymple fell in the dipple, um, she came up, and the baby father on the other side he seconded, and they took no objection. <clears throat> now um, it's twofold because what happened if we took Ishmael's? Um, Ishmael's pink wall situation and there is there is mix up in the in the family home. What you're gonna have is a disgruntled um speaker of the house who is mad at the husband, and then there's division on the in, in the house. So it might it may one day work for the benefit of the, the opposition. So you can't have your cake and eat it too. You have to just make when it comes to bias and stuff like that, you just have to make it work. So I just think um, context matters, and it is the timing of of what is said. But if you realize, him just no, said but... Juliet. He never said Juliet, my wife. He never no, said that. Said in particular, Juliet, as a, as the best baby father of ideas, you have to particularize. Never... You have to you have, you have to particularize what you needed to say. But so what I, I think? I don't. What think, I think though. Do... Really? Don't you think he should have used yesterday to apologize to the nation for what happened on Tuesday? Who should have apologized? The Prime Minister. Apologize for what? 
to have disrupted the leader of the opposition's presentation. Listen, this pre this is precedent set from last year at the Oscars. When a man <laughs> talk about your wife, you sit back in the chair, look at your wife, you get up, you walk over, and you say, "Wow!" And then you say, "Keep my wife's name out your mm, mm, mouth." After you do that, you get your prize. You make your speech and you get your prize. And then you get banned for 10 years. So he actually never carried through. He never carried through. He's in the parliament. He should have just whap out. <laughs> just bust that and say, oh, don't talk about my wife. And makes you feel good as a speaker. And I also say, yeah, I might. I, might. <laughs> I just say, yeah, I might. Donkey team, big nose. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing. Back, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So really, that's what should happen, but it never happened. But I can tell you, um, yeah, no, as a parliament guy, you don't apologize for things in parliament. Them say them always say when 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 a true when a true stone in a ag pen, I first one ball get a lick. You know? Boy, may I tell you them it's an issue man, you get the lick. government in you know, a mind mind mind. Did mind. I? Mind them call for your resignation. You have a whole body of people that will write and waste paper to say you should resign. Be careful. Because <laughs> they're watching. It's a this is how we do it. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, where am I? <laughs> yes, but Ishmael, you're not in Kansas anymore, Ishmael. <laughs> Ishmael, wait, wait, wait. Before you put yourself in another problem. I really wish for me to think you're there, there. <laughs> I flee the no. fifth. <laughs> Ishmael, you're mm? really there, people are building. What people are building? But they're wearing a moan there. I said. You don't care, Steve. Ishmael. <laughs> Look how you make Ishmael run, God. <laughs> This is a serious matter. You're not afraid of come find you in there. You be the man I use. But me not in there. What do you mean? Business. You see me in there? Ronis, what you know about me? Oh, you call me hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I read the comments then. All right, right but going on the naughty corner. Them right, can't do me nothing. I, I sat on my attorney. I sat is my attorney. <laughs> When Rhoda fits. <laughs> mm? <coughs> when Rhoda, I wish, I wonder which from a friend Marvin there. I think I should have met. No, no, me can't take Marvin to me. That's what I bit. No, me I can't. Mr. Marvin, blood pressure racing, please. You can't take Marvin tonight. <laughs> Big up my boss. Mm. I said, you watch Marvin since we. He never hey. watched him, you know. I don't know. I never watched him the Tuesday night. I kind of busy. Oh, yeah. He, did busy. Busy. he was busy on the fix. I'm busy Listen. on some other shows. You know, must That's exactly. That That's exactly what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to draw TV. I'm going to Nobody fix my business. <laughs> can't, can't, don't let them set you up here, Ishmael. Mm -hmm. You're smart on that, my boss. <laughs> <laughs> but say, all of us are here. I said, all of us. <laughs> We've been listening to you. We definitely been listening to you. So we got to do this just for you. It's Paint House Record presents the man himself, Redeem, talking about one of the badass, one of the best uprising artists right now. Keys for the Cage Mind with songs like Deception. Peculiar people. Every morning when we rise up, don't the river will and swim. If you do not have no river, find yourself down at the spring. And your ear know what fit all before you. And a brand new single. This one called This is Redeem Still Love. Say no more, this too much. Hey, redeem say no more, this too much. Poverty lie in the long bend till you walk. We garrison the area, then we want fix up. Talking about Redeem, one of the fastest rising artists right now. Hey, you can find him on all social media platforms, IG, Facebook, 
TikTok. It's Redeem Official. Or look him up right here on YouTube. It's Redeem Official Vivo. Hey, talking about good music, talking about authentic music, it's right here. It's Redeem. It's a pain house production. Why you want wipe us from Jaja Earth? But for whatever lies were earth. Hey, Babylon, I have seen you were earth. Babylon, we see your dirty were Babylon, redeem, still see you were earth. Uno say, Uno disease affect young baby, affect pregnant woman and the elderly people pass. Yes, Jamaica, that is where we have redeem the artist and I set the and the artist. Ishmaela, when you go do your song. I you know say, I you know say, as I said that so. Um I said your visuals as a as a as a production ex, expert as as a somebody in, in production, I can tell you. Your visuals top tier. Do I, do I I I appreciate that. Tell Jamaica Gleaner call them bun me out, come step on them paper. Why did I do that? That's not nice. What, mean by product? what kind of production spe everything you in? What kind of production speciality speciality you have? I'm an editor and I'm a camera operator and I'm a communications consultant. You know this. Yes, and he's he's a full member of the Judah Diaspora. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously though. I'm an editor. Yeah, man, your, your visual stop here, man. Respect. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. I want to see you on the billboard next I sir. It's so it's what man. When 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 Gaza bars free and these things and, and every big song then come out. Muna get no Andre, Muna get no Muna get no support in a Jamaica if you don't play all my music. Ray do not play me and I'm not getting a spin in a it's Jamaica. True. It's true, it's true. Bad 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 poor. Bad 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 poor. I'm not dealing with me good out here. Really? It's true. So it's that, true. Song, that true, song true. don't play a radio. No. 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 Never. No. But me hear it. No man, it, it play for hot ninety five. What do you do, you know? Yeah. Mm. A foreign okay. radio station that do. Oh, that different. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in rotation of foreign. You, you know, hot ninety five though. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I actually do. But you're not playing out here. But no, let me turn it our attention a little tonight mm. to the integrity commission uh there is a ongoing debate right now mm. mark golding said that the attorney general's reports were tabled and they were they were returned to her they never they weren't tabled in the house and the government is accusing Mark Golding of telling a lie. Listen to this now and we'll get back to it. Now to the details. The Integrity Commission has denied claims by opposition leader Mark Golding that reports it submitted to Parliament have not been tabled. The anti-corruption agency issued the clarification in a statement on Friday. Ricardo Brooks reports. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Juliet Holness, has repeatedly been accused by the opposition PMP of refusing to table reports submitted to Parliament by the Integrity Commission. Those accusations have led to questions in the public domain about her impartiality and fairness as presiding officer in the House. The accusations against Mrs. Holness have sparked speculation that she has been suppressing the reports. But on Friday, the Seymour Panton Shared Integrity Commission said no. The Commission denied the claims that its reports have been suppressed. It says it has taken note of comments that are being made in sections of the media suggesting that its reports sent to Parliament have not been tabled. It says in the public interest it wishes to advise and confirm that all of its reports, including all investigative and annual reports that have so far been sent to Parliament, have been tabled. The Integrity Commission says no report it has sent to the Houses of Parliament is outstanding. The Commission says it's forbidden under the Integrity Commission Act to make any comment on matters currently before it. It says once it sends a report to Parliament on any matter, it will immediately advise the public. It says when that notice is made public, it is still, by law, 
prohibited from naming the subject of the report. The Commission concludes by assuring the public that once its reports are tabled in Parliament, it will issue an advisor on social media and upload the document to its website. Ricardo Brooks for Nationwide News. Founder of Ishmael, you know, Nationwide had to apologize for that newscast today, right? More you play that too. That more you play to them too. Calm down, Ishmael. No, I'm, I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. I am calm. Hold a second. They had to apologize because, you know, um, <laughs> oh Lord. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. We should apologize. To the clarification, and we should to the clarification, and we should apologize to the opposition leader Mark Golding because today in the midday news we carried the story about the Integrity Commission declaring that no reports from that office had been tabled, had, had been sent to Parliament, but not tabled. The Integrity Commission saying that that claim was not true. We the story we carried said that the opposition leader had said that Mrs. Holness, the House Speaker, had not tabled reports from the Integrity Commission. Of course, that wasn't so, because what the opposition leader did say at the opposition leader's office on Tuesday after that parliamentary walkout, where he said that reports from the Auditor General's oh. Department weren't tabled, which was true, because they were sent back. And he also said that reports from the Integrity Commission were sent to committees. He was clear in what he said. So he did not say that reports from the Integrity Commission were not tabled in Parliament, that they were being suppressed. He did not say that. And we clarified that in the story we carried at five, but it was a midday report, which was problematic. And yeah, we want to just clarify that Mr. Holding did not say so, and we moved to set the record straight in the story we carried at five. All right, let's get going. your nationwide love tell lie? And mislead the public? Gleena, Gleena also did it and had to pull the story. So, Lena did it as well. I had to pull the Mark story. Golding spoke about the Auditor General's report in his presentation. No, sir. Right. He said the Auditor General's reports were. No, he did also speak about uh, about tabling of reports, but but he was very clear on it, saying that saying that she keeps sending them to committees. Uh huh. That they and not to the parliament and not to the report. parliament, and that is what that is what has always been the issue. Because while sending them to the committees, she also asked for, for, for um, advice based on how to proceed. And she doesn't want to share that advice. And they have been calling for that advice to be shared because that advice is on behalf of the Jamaican people. Mm. So the record is in fact straight. So why the Auditor General the, report why the Parliament and had to be returned? Say that again. Why did the Auditor General's report have to go to Parliament and had to return? Back I'm to honestly answer? not sure. You know, they um they decided to pull it because I guess it was it, it was it wasn't finished. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I won't say um that was but the this, case. But these are the reasons what the PMP is talking about, isn't it? That the reports are coming to Parliament and they're not being submitted to the Parliament. They're being they're, they're, continuously they are submitting um these. The, these reports to committees that they are in charge of. The JLP the, in charge of the committees. Most of the government ministers are, are, are in charge of these committees. And if that is the case, if that is the case, um, we talk about transparency all the time. How is that transparent? How is that transparent? And that was the point he was trying to make why he brought up the House Speaker. Because these... He, in his presentation, he was speaking about these as processes. And in relation to these processes, um, what the standing order says about these processes. And if the standing order says one thing, there are, in, in fact, legal interpretations. And if the legal interpretation says that it is so, share the legal interpretation with, with the host so that the country can be clear. I find a problem with your beloved self-made friend, Juliet Holness. Confusing the parliament with all of these reports, sending them back to Auditor General 
sending it to special committee and not carrying it into the parliament for the nation to hear it. What's your take on that, Isaac Buchanan? I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. One time I work at a bakery. Oh, and any time I see my name and my friend them name on the bulla, I don't pack them in the back. I carry them back around the back. I said it back to I said it back in the oven. <laughs> and and the process, the processes that Ishmael talking about. Sometimes it can be delayed. And sometimes when it, when things get hot, you have a fire the baker too. Yeah, I said, you see, you see, you see. It's, like, it's, it's like the parables of Christ. Well, the wine and, and the bread. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. So, you're part of the real pasta, you know. A real pasta, you know. I would really this want to hear one of his this, 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 this investigation is a job for Bailey's rum cream to find out what's going on. Right <laughs> <laughs> six Bailey, you know. six Bailey, not going you know. <laughs> you know, I heard, I heard the. The, hey, that's why you see it is very important to fact check. It is very important because today on a search, certain social media website, a certain group of people, I'm calling mm -hmm. the name, come out strong and say, "Who the labor right them?" I, you not hear me call nobody name, boss. Ishmael, I'm, I am paraphrasing for you. You can't. No, no paraphrase will. for me. <laughs> no, no, no. I am saying a certain group of people came out swinging against the, 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 the opposition leader, the general mm -hmm. secretary, as well as um, um, the party as a whole, swinging without fact-checking what they actually meant. Only for find out that all of these media houses had to apologize. Now, who left with egg pan them face now? But they, they's not only should they apologize, they should lose their work and they should resign. Or you ever lose your, or you ever lose your work. You ever lose your work as a supporter. Honest, listen, I don't understand how the Society for Resignating People over at the UK 2 G, G Summit don't write that those people should resign immediately. They shouldn't have the jobs. They make you resign, though. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So they so they not get no pay. Me. They, always, they always resign me and kick me out of work. I work where they not pay me. Like you not get the JP stamp either. My name you not gonna get no money. Boo. Anyway. Yeah. Well, listen, no. Did you know I'm a JP? You're a JP. You're a JP. Where's my? I want to show you my ID. Where's my? Oh, look, this guy showing off of me, yo. <laughs> this guy, this guy, this guy, black this guy. This guy is a JP. He's a he's a restorative justice officer. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, court. He's the he's the junior executive member of the diaspora youth council. Yes, he was on the mission in Kagali. He went to the last Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> he was at the square deal of the commissioner of police. He's an ambassador <laughs> and a special agent. And he's in a government building right now using taxpayers' Wi Fi. <laughs> 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 Yesterday, there was a guest lecture up by the University of the West Indies with Minister Pandora from South Africa. I don't know if you heard about it, Ishmael. No. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to play the video, the one with Kamina Johnson Smith. She was at the... <laughs> It's in there, man. Look, she was, they were at the, the South African lecture and Mr. Dabdu asked the question about 
why South Africa has such a passion for the Palestinian intervention. Lord, welcome to Jamaica, Ambassador Yengeni, Mrs. Johnson speaks. First of all, um, Minister, on behalf of the Palestinian community in Jamaica, we extend our sincere appreciation to you in your personal capacity, to you in your capacity as a minister, your government, and your people for the support on wavering as it has been for the Palestinian cause and the human rights issues in Palestine. I would like to ask you, Minister Pando, separate and apart from the obvious historic issues in South Africa as it relates to racism and apartheid, what do you believe has stirred the South African consciousness to be so adamant in their support for the Palestinian cause. Because in my view, separate and apart from the pain of the apartheid era, there must be something deeper in the culture of the South African people that has raised this level of consciousness to the point where we have to acknowledge that South Africa are at this time the human face of the world. Yes. So we can allow you to leave since the question is directed at you. Um, I would like to ask her a question to Mr. Margaret. I would like to place a question to Mrs. Johnson Smith. It's not a very complicated question. Um, let me try and answer uh, your question. Uh, firstly, um, South Africans benefited from international solidarity in their struggle for freedom. People who didn't know us had never been to South Africa. When we asked them to raise their voices against what we were experiencing, they did. When we ask them to help us in any way that they can, they did. So our leaders undertook that wherever we see harm, we must be active and respond. So this is the reason it largely lies in the notion of international solidarity. Second, it derives from our Freedom Charter. In 1955, our leaders came together and drew the people of South Africa to a national congress with a single agenda of articulating what kind of South Africa we wanted to see once we had freedom. People, people, tell me now. Um, I sat. Yes. We never know the coming in the Olympics. Context matters. Don't. Do yeah, man. Do no. Don't yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, the woman put a bone up a yard, brother. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't so, do that. Do what? You can't do the that. Woman left pot, 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 and it is it's a catch 22, you know. She's between a rock and a hard place. If she sit down there like she careless and don't move, the other people them are gonna say how she never come there. And then you are your friend Ratigan over far. I'm gonna say, I'm Pina, now do her walk. Cause she sit down, she sit down side of South Africa when she have Haiti, Haiti a mashup and she not attend to that. And the 50 picnic them did come on the ship. And she is the international minister where of foreign affairs and culture. So she did have to go over there. Plus, yeah. she'd have to make so, sure say the fifty pound of rice, the fifty yeah. pound of rice cook good, and it start right. once so our forty nine pound of rice left. Yeah. So my so question is that. though, why is when the question asks about Palestine, Palestine, Sharon, 
Why she never run before that? No, that's a good. I know. No, it's about the time, but it's obvious she didn't have to participate in that. Jamaica never participated in the vote. Why would she? Have to? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, why would she need to stay? It's not like they, Jamaica don't have a voice on that. You know, it's time to leave. You know, you know, let's go. <laughs> but that is where I need to say then. So she's running away because look like the man going to ask her why them abstain. No, no, this is how it works. Say Palestine. Say Palestine. Bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can't flip with some of them, so. <laughs> Say, sir, she here, Palestine, she run. What? Huh? Okay, come on. We'll play music. Producer, I wish for Almighty God there. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. He producer. You know how they work, you know. <laughs> 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 but, you know, gentlemen, you know what I say? All right. She says she's going to answer the question. But she's sitting back down. She's saying that she would have responded to the question. And then when the South African minister answering the question, she take herself run through the, the place. It's an embarrassment on the government, man. Because she could have stayed back and answered to the question. Who asked the question? The, the voice the sounds familiar. Them say one, one a, 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 a man named Mr. Dabdu. Hold no, on, let me okay. take this. Hello, good night. I sent this. What's up, my friend? Look at it. Them to them send me something on WhatsApp. No, but why are you looking at that? Um, on her on her Twitter, she says, I note an unfortunate video circulating that yes. misrepresents circumstances at a lecture event last night, headlined by South Africa's FM. The event with Minister Pandora was scheduled to end at eight, and I had a CARICOM heads meeting on Haiti that was set to accommodate my participation in that event too good I had too much reading this and i'm not paid for i advise <laughs> and, <the moderator, laughs> and the moderator waited as long as i could which was at 2 8 15 but then had to go persons heard me advise that yeah, i had a meeting and saw the right moderator signal for me to leave it is unfortunate that the inaccurate narrative oh, would be pushed you. on social media <laughs> when such rich discussions were held at the event in a perfect world, maybe the moderator could have emphasized my prior indication and reason for departure. The PS and the CTD of the ministry remain in the event that any questions were posed which required a response from the government of Jamaica, and I am advised that none were. So she's basically saying that she did advise them long time, so she did not believe. Right. So the DSP and the SSP and the and and the um the synergy, all of that should have come together. But seriously, she had somewhere to go. Cari the CARICOM meeting with about Haiti is more important because they get a lot of money from that meeting. So she had to be there. You know that? You know so they get money. I said not money sure. for money. Why else would they I don't money? know that? Why else would they have brought them money? wouldn't take the orphans. diplomatic Mr. relations? Andrew, Andrew no, would have never no. take the orphans. I never don't know that. Orphans. I don't know that. I don't know that. You're well, not you hear me. Know best because you work in a government. So let me let, me, that. <laughs> let me take several seats. You're right. But uh, she's not here to defend herself. I think she had a legitimate reason to, to, to leave. And it shouldn't be misinterpreted and turned you do have pot on fire and, and despise just, her name because it just it so it happens work. that she was uh, leaving when a question was asked. It's just mere coincidence. Well, I mean, it's protocol. To leave when a question is asked, don't it? No. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, I mean, sorry, sorry. For consistency, sorry. it's not like they vote for it in they don't participate in conversations in relation to that topic maybe anyway. she needed to go to the bathroom right she left she, no she said in her in her tweet why she left oh. and i think we should just give it that and just she said she had to go on. to a haiti a, a character <coughs> meeting on haiti yeah oh so okay that was her reason uh, also um andre I, I, I must say um someone gave me a bailey's cheesecake today courtesy oh, nice. of courtesy because i was on the program the other day someone really? bigger up yes now, see, why must come and partner, John TV. hi pretty lady so a lady see ya so 
One eat KFC six piece every day, courtesy okay. of partner draw TV. I use start eat Bailey's cheesecake. <laughs> me never yeah. said that me said me get the Bailey's cheesecake. But you don't know if I pay my fair feet. <laughs> no man, the lady buy the piece of cake for you. That is really good. That you say get it. You say you get it. Oh, you're going to change your mouth. <laughs> Do man day I work and we get the cake. That's all. I went by and I saw the cake and I liked it and we get the cake. You don't know if is me. That never, is never no smell is me, me not telling us where. You see you know. <laughs> you see you know I that with you. And a regular cheesecake is well. But that's all right, Ishmael. But Jamaica, this is you remember you can bless up the super chat and bless up this program as best as possible. Remember, context matters on Thursday, 5 to 7 p.m. And then subsequent at 8 p.m., you join me on Padna Draw TV. Remember, at 2 p.m. tomorrow, you have the Ratigan show, Reasoning with Ratigan. Um, so there is a Sunday evening show called Waterhouse Vibes. Ratigan is normally on that show. Um, that, it's mm -hmm. a nice show. Give it some support. Okay. Well, Jamaica, this is where we wrap up for this week. There are other things to discuss, but I said had several cases to discuss today. I and mean, he, he he's court logged. He has been at court all day. Oh, um, two more call for your girl, man. Just two. Ishmael, you just love rush to things. Ishmael, you want Courtney send send missiles downtown across from KFC. Thank God me not downtown. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> that's where I'm ending the show for tonight, Jamaica. That's really where I'm ending the show for tonight. We'll oh, they come say, back. They say what time on I, Sunday? Three o'clock on Sunday. There is somebody that I want to interview on Sunday. Uh, it's a young man who was a teacher but has fallen into some predicament. I think it's worthy of knowing his situation. So I'm seeing if, if I can get him Sunday to do an exclusive with me. But until then, Jamaica, on behalf of Isaac, <laughs> myself, and Ishmael Douglas, this was the partner, George TV. Thanks to everyone who gave to the Super Chat and who continues to give. Courtney, have a blessed birthday over the weekend. And remember, if anybody wants to sponsor Courtney a nice phone, reach out to me. I really need the phone, man. I really need the phone. Can no, you, no, can, no, you read, Isaac, no, Isaac, can you read this? Can you read this? Read this. Fetcher said something. Can you can you read? I, it? I, I want I want you read it loud so Ishmael baby mother can hear. Isaac, Which baby mother you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about. Ishmael, yeah, yeah. Party, if my party, party, yeah. Me not really party, see, but me come support you. Yeah, just give me a support. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm a jiggy. I'm a single man, um, um, Miss Fletcher. But continue, let me hear this, because this, this is so nice. I want you to read it. <laughs> I to read it before you leave. <laughs> read it up, Can I tell you? I don't see the reading. You're too, you're too full of mix-up. Remember, Ishmael, you and I know that otherwise, you know, so nobody put yourself in any problem. But Jamaica, this cool. is a partner draw show. God bless you, Ishmael. God bless you, I Satan. We will talk again soon. All right, Maybe. blessings, everybody.